move the water from the fjord into the tanks that we have here. And then in the tanks we have six compartments and in each of the compartments we have radiators made of stainless steel. The water in the tank gets to about 70 to 75 degrees Celsius. The hot water is 97 degrees Celsius. We use it to cook down the seawater basically, just using the tank as a big cooking pot. Different uh, tanks, different salinities, so we move the water around until we get between 20 to 25% salinity in the tank. And just to, for comparison, the, the sea is only 3.5% to 3.7% salinity, depending on the time of the year. So we cook the water down, as I said, to 20 to 25 in the tanks, and then the water is ready to be moved from the tanks into the next stage of the process, which is the pan room. The salt pans are filled up with this 20 or 25% salinity brine and then we cook the water further until it reaches 28%. At that point, the water gets saturated with salt crystals. They form on the surface as flakes, and as they get heavy, they sink to the bottom of the pans, and then we harvest them two times a day, once in the morning, once in the afternoon, drain it, dry it, mix it or package it with the different flavors that we have. The whole process is done by hand, uh, the harvesting, the drying, the packaging, so it's a handmade product. Everything runs on hot water, so the, so the tanks, the pan room, the drying room, the hot water, the heating, everything. So it is green as it can get. Of course, we don't use any chemicals or anything, so it's just mechanical cooking down of the water. What you get in the sea from the minerals, you get in the salt.